Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about can you live in the Philippines for 500 USD a month. Now wait, before you switch over to the next video, let me explain. I know there's a lot of discussion about cost of living in the Philippines. I'm going to read the question, read some answers to that question, and stick around until the end. I'm going to tell you my personal experience living in mainly Cebu for the past five years. And if 500 bucks is enough, here's today's question. Is 500 USD a month enough to live in the Philippines? Condo, Wi-Fi, water, electric, and food. Hey, great question. A lot of people want to know, is 500, 1,000, 1,500? Cost of living is one of the most talked about topics on YouTube when it comes to the Philippines. And here are some responses. Someone said, forgot to account for the tourist visa extensions. You have to cough up the tourist visa extension, 3,000 pesos. And decent square meter condo is 20,000. Low end Wi-Fi, 2,000. AC, 7,000. And so on and so forth. Looking at about 973 US dollars. You roughly need $1,000 just to live decent, comfortable. Too many variables like electricity is most expensive in Southeast Asia. And if you want a decent Filipina, she want the goodies you can bring. Do not come here with just $500 a month. You'll be out on the streets in no time. No, 500 is not enough to come out here. Okay, a lot to break down there and that's very true. One thing you have to remember, a lot of men, they when they do these calculations, cost of living, they don't factor in the relationship that they might get into. Let's be honest, as men, you probably want someone to be hanging around with, doing stuff, excursion, and even just to live, right? It's the second person you have to take care of, feed, to, you know, go places together, do all these things. So most of us forget to calculate the cost of having a Filipino girlfriend, partner, wife, etc. Let's get into some of the numbers this guy's talking about. Rent, if you're living in Cebu City, BGC, uh, Davao, some of these places, the rent alone will be over $500. If you're renting on a short term, three months, six months, even monthly, it's gonna be close to seven, eight hundred dollars. Just look at Airbnb. Go into the nearest city you want to visit and see what the prices are. Unfortunately, the Philippines has some of the highest rental prices, at least in major cities compared to like other neighboring countries. But we're talking about just the Philippines right here. The rent's gonna cost you electricity. If you don't have all inclusive, that's gonna be a big factor, especially in summer months. Look what's going on in the past couple of months. People's electricity prices for their utilities going through the roof, right? Let's talk about food. If you can't adapt to local Filipino food, you're gonna spend a lot of money on food because you're gonna eat at rest Western restaurants and they can be pricey probably nearly just as much as back home, right? So these are a lot of things to consider. I'm gonna tell you guys all the rest of the things in a second. Let's go on to our next answer. Another person says a $500 is just under 30,000 pesos. I got myself locked out of my UK bank account for a couple of months. I won't bore you with the details and lived on around 650 pesos a day. But it wasn't much fun as I had to wash every peso. That said, I live quite comfortably on just 1500 a day, budget and rarely spent over 2000 even on bar hopping night. He makes a good point by saying you don't want to be in a situation where you're counting every single peso. You don't want to miss out on certain things because you're worried about how much money you bring in. So 500 according to this guy is just not enough. Sure, you can survive, but are you actually living? Which is echoed by a next comment from a woman that says, to survive, yes. To live, no. Another person says, after you pay your bills, you get to eat for one week and you'll be one unexpected misfortune away from being busted on the streets. If you end up on the streets, don't let it be there. At least in the US, you might find a soup kitchen or end up in a nice jail cell and be fed. Yes, jail cells in the US are luxury compared to the Philippines. Whoa, I guess this person's talking about being homeless in the Philippines on the streets. If you guys haven't seen, I did a homeless like I guess mini series about Greg last year and he was in a really tough situation so being a foreigner in the Philippines on the streets actually I guess if you're even not a foreigner anybody on the streets it's not a good thing and you don't want to be in that situation where you kind of like really tight on money so I would say 500 is not enough but I'm going to tell you guys why at the end let's go on to our next response another person says no don't be a fool to live decently in the Philippines is easily as much as one third what it costs to live a minimal substance in the US so three times 500 equals 1500 per month you can barely live at all decently for the most part in the US for 1500 bucks a month as an independent single adult paying rent for small room, food, clothes, utilities, phone, transportation, etc., leaving nothing left for emergency situations. Your only hope for living decently in the Philippines on only 500 bucks Philippine pesos would be to live in a small rented room in someone's home and have them cook for you. But you have precious little left to get out adventuring, seeing the country, eating out, going to bars, dating, etc., let alone medical care for potential illness or injury. I'm trying to prevent you from further considering such a risky and frankly foolhardy move. Don't try it. One thing a lot of us don't consider, it is medical. Right? As you get older, there's going to be more chance of you needing hospitalization or some kind of illness, some kind of treatment, you know, even just like a motorcycle accident. Anything can happen to you in any country. So you have to factor in those extra medical costs. 
And as this person mentioned, you could live here, but you won't be living as a comfortable lifestyle as you would think, unless you're really adventurous and you're really an outdoorsy person. And our last response is probably, but it's going to be pretty tight. I would advise against it unless you have other savings to fall back on. What if you have medical emergencies for 500 bucks? You probably won't even be able to afford decent medical insurance on top of everything else. Also, you won't have a lot of extra money for going on trips and stuff. I see a lot of YouTubers saying it can be done and I'm sure it can, but I personally wouldn't do it unless I have lots of savings to also fall back on if needed. Okay, so you see a lot of people saying it can be done, but they don't recommend it. Now here are my personal thoughts, whether you can live on 500 USD in the Philippines. Here's the difference. You can live there, but do you want to, right? You can survive, of course. I mean, look at the minimum wage in the Philippines, ranging from about 10 to $12, depending on the city. So if the Filipinos can do it for 300 bucks, of course it can be done, but they're resilient. Filipinos have been living uh, in harsh conditions for a long time. They know how to manage their money. They don't need the most luxurious things. They're very happy people. They're laid back. They're, they're, they don't need all the stuff that maybe a Westerner would need. And there are lots of Filipinos that have a lot more money than you and I would ever come close to. So you have the very affluent Filipinos doing whatever they want. The middle class is pretty easy going and the developing and lower class can survive and manage. So it really comes down to uh, what your lifestyle is. This question is kind of like how long is a piece of string? You can never actually give a proper answer because it comes down to your personal preference, where you're living. Now here's my personal experience. The number one cost is gonna be where you're living, the location of your apartment. And then it's like, what kind of apartment are you having, right? So for me, I need the internet, I'm single, I'm a very spoiled kind of guy. I like my comfort, I need the AC on all the time. Uh, I don't like the humidity and the heat. Uh, so I eat like out all the time, every day. So my cost of just myself, I don't pay uh, for booze or women or none of that. Like, I mean, I go on dates, but I don't pay prostitutes to my point. Because a lot of men, let's be honest, we, we do, and that's normal, that's okay, whatever, that's your business, but the cost is gonna go up as well, right? So for me, a normal dude, it's about 1200 bucks a month. So for my lifestyle, I live in a condo in IT park. I eat out regularly, pretty much every meal. I have good internet, I have cell phone, um, I have health insurance, but for my age, and it's really travel insurance, I pay $45 a month. Um, everything, I take taxis, the motorbike taxis as well daily. So my cost comes around 1200 USD. Now, could I cut that in half even probably? Yeah, I could. If I want to live a little bit outside of town, right? Not really in the heart of the city. If I want to start eating at home a little bit more. So it can be done on 500, but I personally would not recommend it. A lot of people just outright say no, that's false. A lot of people go outright and say yes, and that's also kind of false. So the true answer is somewhere in between. It comes down to the lifestyle. And I just gave you guys my personal experience. Another thing to consider is um, the short-term rentals, right? A lot of times, price of rent is very high because most of us come and stay one month, maybe two months. If you rent a place for sure that you know you want to stay there, that, that price is going to drop drastically, maybe even to half. So that's going to affect everything. Can it be done? Yeah. Should you do it? I don't think so. 500 bucks, I personally don't think you should come to the Philippines from a Western country and try to live comfortably in the Philippines for $500. Because believe it or not, uh, Filipinos uh, manage but cost of living isn't that low in the Philippines. You know, there's a lot of development, it's up and coming, the GDP is slowly rising, uh, there's a lot of foreign interest in, in the Philippines, a lot of investments. So these bubbles that you might want to consider staying, the prices are quite high. If you want to go to the province, right? So let's say you meet a woman and you want to go live somewhere in the provinces, you don't care so much about like the, let's say the luxury type of uh, living because you know, you just want to live a good life with your partner and Filipino, maybe you want to have like a, little farm even right like some pigs and chickens who knows right and live a very normal life that could be significantly less maybe you can do it for 500 bucks because you're eating out you're eating at home every day probably you're buying groceries from a local store you're not taking taxes and excursions regularly but then when it comes to that you probably have some other factors and costs that you wouldn't really have when you're in this city right so lastly long story short you can live in the philippines for 500 but i don't think you should and I think a thousand to 1500 would be the ideal amount for a single person that has you know, some vices, but not too crazy. Because in the Philippines, you can spend $10,000 a night if you want. You can spend twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a night. It really depends on your lifestyle. You wanna be like balling out out of control on some yacht somewhere, you can do that if you want. But if you want a normal lifestyle, you can survive, but I wanna recommend it. Leave your thoughts down below, leave your comments down below. I know this is a very, I want to say hot topic, but everybody's got a different perspective, different lifestyle, because there's no right answer. Your lifestyle is very different from everybody else's lifestyle. Leave a comment down below, share your thoughts. If you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.